Once more, we are here to show you what is going to happen in the Women's Racing League. We've already seen three rounds on the board. Me and Valen have brought you the action as it has been coming along slow and swiftly. But now we might be getting into more, you know. You know, we had, you know, a bit of an appetizer, you know, had, but now we're going to go into the main dishes. The, the matches that everybody looks forward to always, the upper bracket matches with the Titans usually collide. And uh, with the match up coming ahead, I'm, I have positive vibes for it. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a close one. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be a good one. Um, we have, of course, we're going to watch uh, Equinox versus Meow. Um... And uh, I think that will be a close match. At the same time, the fairy tales will play the birds of prey, and the lilies will play the wild things in the lower bracket, and the big bonkers get a, a bye to the next round. Mm -hmm. So Equinox versus Meow. You have uh, given your prediction earlier. You think Meow might take mm -hmm. it. Uh, I think Equinox may come out on top. So uh, let's see here. Chat, what do you think? Who's your favorite of what do you think is going to be the result here of this matchup? I do think it's going to be close no matter what the result is. I think it's definitely going to be close and I'll be happy to be proven wrong. Um, also, we are waiting for Ya to join the server. Yeah, indeed. Ya, Ya, Ya needs to join. Oh, <laughs> indeed. Uh, um, and yeah, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a good one. But um, yeah, what do you think? I mean, as I said, I, it's it's very hard to know where uh, Equinox are with uh, Pepper, actually, because mostly we've seen Shorty on display because Pepper has been, you know, either ha you know, either she's been, you know, prepping in the background, you know, slowly making her way for her grand debut. Pepping. Because at the moment, uh, Shorty has been taking the helm uh, for her. And um, very well as well. Yeah, indeed. I mean, Shorty is definitely a good driver. They I mean, won last time, so I yeah, mean, they yeah, they won last time indeed, and with a lot of emotion alongside it as well. Uh, so very definitely, nice it means see, yeah. a lot to them. Uh, whether Pepper will be able to live up to the hype, or you know, uh, or Pepper. Apparently, Pepper was playing the first event. I, I mean, I was production guy then. I'm, I, I'm not supposed to pay attention. I'm just supposed to show you the nice camera angle. So I wasn't the caster <laughs> then. I, I am excused, Shorty. Um, but in regardless, <laughs> my lack of knowledge aside, <laughs> I'm interested um, because yeah, Pepper has been oh, on the sideline for the event, and uh, let's see how she will be back now for the November one. Exactly, and Zara, of course, uh, from Team Meow has been uh, driving really well. Uh, last time they lost just to the Big Bonkers it was a very close matchup, and the Big Bonkers went on to take third place, so that was really good. Um, and uh, Zara and Ya, I, Ya is doing really well as well. And so, I mean, they're in the upper bracket, so you can't really argue with that. Uh, the ladies from Germany, both of them. Um, but still, Equinox is a big cookie to crack. Uh, like you said, of course, Shorty is not there this time, so it is going to be Pepper. But I think Pepper is also a very good driver. And of course, Linko uh, is uh, just doing really well. So, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, yeah. I think it'll be close, whatever the result is. I mean, if anything, all of the players, they get all of the combinations going, you know, uh, technically, you know, they have their main lineup and they have the substitute. You can try every piece of the puzzle, see what fits, you know, December event uh, comes on. And uh, it's Linko, there is a difference. There is Lingo and there's Linko. Uh, two, def def two different Lingo's uh, people. Lingo's not here in the women's Yeah, race Lingo, race. Lingo, Lingo, we don't talk about him. Lingo is impersonating Hobbit anyway, so it, you know, they have an identity crisis. They can solve that one out themselves. But we have Lingo, you know, the the one that's driving, you know, doing the actual business on track, you know. So the Lingo. The are coming up, by the way. Yeah, the pink bands are going to come up in just a moment. There and there they, they are. So let's take a look what we get. Do we get the new maps? What will... Meow and uh, uh, Equinox have to put up uh, in this case, and I do Zara believe that is going to take yeah, the first Zara's banning, yeah. Let's see if we're going to see some of the new maps or if they are sticking to the ones they know. Um, of course, Nest and Biochemistry were maps that we had last uh, step in October. We will not see them again, but we will see them again in the December event. But for now. Uh, mm -hmm. They are taking their time. Here it is, Viridian Hills. One of the new maps is going to be banned. We will not see that in this matchup. And Linko is now uh, banning another map. Let's see which one she picks. Uh, 
pretty no, curious I mean, to see because you've got, of course, a new player in the mix. You can't really rely on the maps that you went on last time um, because uh, maybe Pepper has different preferences than Shorty did last time. So we're going to have to see um, what their preference will be. Do they go for the new map or will they ban out the new map? Mm. Let's see. Hard to say. I would ban, They're honestly. That's I'm choosing. Yeah. Oh, Here it is. I was, a, I was about to say that they would uh, take out Celestia, but I guess attention has more priority. I mean, Celestia definitely looks pretty good uh, for the for them, but Nation. but Spin Nation comes in uh, for the for the side of uh, Equinox and Meow. Well, they get to side decide the order. Do they want Decadence first and then go for a bit of Celestia, or do they go for Celestia first and then leave a Spin uh, not Spin Nation leave a uh, Decadence as a decider. So definitely things to go uh, on about here. Uh, they are definitely taking their time, you know. It's definitely not, They're all you know, taking their time. This yeah. is a very strategic uh, planning stage, I think. Yeah, definitely um, they are using... They have been given a minute, yeah. and God forbid we are going to use every They're last second of it. taking their minute, yeah. yeah. Of course, oh, Decadence is going to be the second map play, so we'll see that for sure. And maybe if we go to map three, we will see Celestia. Of course, the big question is, do you ban against your opponent's good map or do you ban the map that you don't like yourself that's always a, a a good one or do you pick the map that your opponent doesn't like or do you pick the map that you are just very comfortable on nice uh, strategies to keep in mind and uh, very interesting to to hear actually what what their uh, train of thought is there we're starting in 30 seconds. The first map is going to be, um, wait, what was it? It's going to be Decadence. Wait, well, I forgot what it was. Was it Supination, Supination to start us Supination. up? Supination to start us up, yes. Um, and we are on the right. map already, so easy We done. are on the map, exactly. Yeah. No logistics needed. We don't need to travel across worlds and times and continuums to go to another <laughs> map. We can just, you know, relax. Everybody can start on the map as, as promised. Well, technically, they will start off with a warm up on the map that they've been waiting and warming up <laughs> begin with. But you know, extra tw 30 seconds doesn't hurt anyone. Extra does it, 30 no? seconds indeed. So let's hear it in chat. Who is your favorite? The ladies need your support, all four of them, because they are going to be facing off against uh, both of them, are very good teams. So you definitely need to bring your A game here. The upper bracket is, of course, what we're looking at. There we go. We've got some uh, spam in Chad. Love to see it. Keep it coming. We always like that. The race is starting. Equinox versus Meow for the upper bracket. Uh, Critty, take it away. I mean, here we have, of course, Ya on the screen. As I've said before, Ya has been steadily, you know, uh, uh, growing and uh, getting a lot faster as the tournaments have progressed. From humble beginnings to now, uh, chasing dreams and getting Meow up the pedestal as well, but they do have Linko and Pepper to face off as Pepper goes very Pepper inside it. Yeah, chucks her a bit like. wide. She won't lose speed because it's not that detrimental actually, because you're gonna be losing the gear there anyway, but at the moment at least, it is Sarah and uh, Linko up in front. I mean, it's gonna be a big fight up in front. We're gonna be uh, spectating this, so I think, close. quite I'll a bit. Them. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna come down to the last corner uh, here. They're gonna be neck and neck. Sara has a bit of a worse setup here. I think Linko has the speed here as well, unless she's able to not push as fast, but both getting across the line. Not much to differ between the two, only 80 thousandths of a second. And what a round to begin with, only two one on the board, but plenty of possibilities yet to come. Exactly, Equinox starting this uh, matchup with a win. 2 to 1 is the score, but of course, we still have a lot of points to go. And it is Zara who touches very early, but does seem to get a little bit closer there. It is Linko with an awkward line and a wobbly landing, so that's going to cost her a lot of time. But Pepper is still in the lead, and she has point three on Ya right now, who is doing her best to come closer on this grass section. A very precise bit. You want to land here nice and early, so you can take a lot of speed into this dirt section. Pepper has a very comfortable lead now by 0.6, and Ya just clipping that just a little bit. That's going to cost her a little bit more. Uh, Linko is two seconds behind her teammate at the moment. She might even take Ya here. Exactly, that's what she does. That is going to be an ace if it stays like this. Pepper in a very good run here, 
and she will take that first place and Linko will solidify the ace with a second place. That is an ace for Equinox, five to one. Uh, and that is a four point gap already that Meow is looking at. So that's, uh, they, uh, they're gonna need to uh, wake up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, Equinox gave every single opportunity possible. I mean, Linko had a touch there, Pepper had not the fastest time as well. So Ya and Sara had every possibility to gather some good points here, but not able to really capitalize on the many uh, misfortunes that happened on the track as at the moment they now find themselves uh, looking at the the bright colorful skins up in front the blue as linko and sara as well everybody having a bit of a wobble there but it allows everybody to sort of punch up back together well linko is sort of uh, being the conductor of the train for now as everybody else is trying to follow along uh, currently, Ya yeah, being a bit more conservative, so it is going to come down again towards this end. Who's willing Sarah to risk as Sara goes a bit too ambitious there. Ya yeah, also oh, trying to overtake oh, Pepper. Pepper. Both of them touch. Who gets to the line? Oh, what is that not happening? quite. Everybody's having a bit of a shaky moment here. Like, oh, like everybody's trying to push. They know they cannot afford mistakes, but of course with Another the added benefits though. yeah but with the pace and the pressure everybody's struggling to sort of keep it on track but i mean it only gives well a lead to equinox i mean they take the ace and it's eight one seven points together but it is equinox is big so touch, yeah it is not the biggest misfortune though no it's still anything can still happen but it is yeah with a slight touch there at the beginning so that's going to cost you some time and pepper with a nice line takes over first place just like that Sara, does she have a little bit more speed and might look like it? Pepper keeps the lead here and she is fighting with Zara over that uh, first place. Linko is right behind them, only 0.3, so she's ready to snap, uh, to snipe anything that makes a mistake. There she is coming into screen again. And now suddenly it's Pepper and Linko taking over first place and second place. Linko, however, touching the side, so Zara comes back into that second place, cannot quite snipe first but it is only 500 of a difference. That is a win for Equinox, and that will actually put them uh, in the lead map-wise. They have taken the first map, and we will be going to the next one. Um, 10 to two was the score. I feel like it was closer than the score uh, shows, but still, 10 to two is on the board. Equinox takes their first map. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of cases to be made uh, if ifs and buts and maybes and and everything in between basically because if this had gone that way meow could have gotten a lot more points there was definitely possibilities for that so uh equinox they did get the 10 too uh but definitely there is a lot of room for improvement in that regard but now they, we are going into tech events uh where first meow has to get a point on the board uh track point to take us into last map and that means that uh, both uh, Sarah and Ya have to put in a good performance. But I feel like this is going to be again one of those cases where Sarah and Linko are going to be the ones really uh, riding up in front. And Ya and Pepper have to make sure they keep it nice and tidy uh, across the entire map. But we'll have to wait and see as the first round Let's on the map is happens. underway. And here we go. We are off on Decadence, a new map in the pool by uh, GJKF. And Pepper and Linko both with a good start here. Of course, with that water bit, you do not want to go too tight and take those water wheels because that is going to screw up your line completely. But all the girls seem to be avoiding that correctly. Linko and Zara are in the, moment, uh, in the lead, but it's Linko with an awkward line and Zara manages to take over that lead. And Pepper and Linko are now looking to grab uh, first place from her. Pepper has to release a little bit, not to slide out there, so that's gonna cost her a little bit of time. Zara will take first place, and the first round on this new map of the pool is a tie. Yeah. And that was a good round. That is indeed so. Now it becomes the case. Do we, uh, in, do we start with the troller tactic? AKA, we draw it out until one round where we get that extra point and we win the track. That's gonna be the question now because uh, unless ooh, Pepper oh, and Linko both having a bit of a wobble and Pepper oh, goes water, in the water. water, that's that's death. That's an 07 right there. Uh, maybe next that time. Hurts. Yep. But everybody else of is course. on the track and Linko. Well, I mean, he, she's trying to catch up to Sarah, but Sarah is just miles away. 
Uh, yep, she's Speedy. She's Gonzalez. And that is Sarah up in front. Speedy Gonzalez going for another win. She feels very good on this map. Like, again, she a does. very solid time. And that is a victory for Meow. And that is exactly what they need. Now they only need to draw for the next uh, seven rounds. And we got it. <laughs> as easy no as problem. that. <laughs> That's just how this goes. Exactly. Um, yes, Meow taking the lead for the first time, I think, in this matchup. Uh, three to two. It's a tiny lead, but it's a, need, a lead nonetheless. So let's see how they match up in this next round. It is Linko who touches the wall there. And she Pepper taking the water. And, and of course, there's a plastic right after that. So it's going to not dry your wheels at all. Uh, that's going to cost her a lot of time. She has to respawn. And Zara is taking it for... Um, she's just giving them a run for their money. She is in a 0.5 lead. Linko has managed to take over second place from Ya. But will it be enough to catch Zara? She is closing in, it seems like, but it's not going to be enough. And uh, Zara puts the second win on the board here. The score will be 3-5 to five in favor of the ladies of Meow. Zara and Ya definitely having a better second map than the first one. And it's uh, a lot closer and uh, they're in the lead by two points now. I mean, uh, Sarah definitely has uh, proven to be uh, uh, a consistency here. She's been driving 41 uh, highs uh, every single round almost. Uh, uh, so definitely pushing the agenda here for uh, uh, Linko and Pepper to really go after it because otherwise they're going to fall right behind. And eventually, Ooh, with the many draws and everything, Yah having to uh, uh, circumvent a bit of speed. I mean, if they cannot beat Zara. There's nothing they can do. They have to get in front of her because now yeah. it's basically do or die. Because if Sarah keeps doing that every single round, then that's uh, GG. It's basically, l l uh, uh, you know, exactly. defeat by many cuts, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At this point, because if they cannot well, beat Sarah, the then it's uh, there's nothing else they can do about it. Very, very true. Zara really consistent, really fast, and. Uh, they have that two-point lead, so like you said, all they need to do is uh, do that a bunch more times and uh, all will be fine for Team Meow here. Of course, that will only tie them up in maps if they do manage to win this one, uh, because they still have map three to contend with, and uh, we will have to see how that one goes. Zara, once again, in the lead, but Pepper is on the hunt, and Ya has taken a third place. Linko has made a mistake. She is now four seconds behind, so she will not play a significant part in this uh, round, and it is... Pepper was so close to Zara. Can she snipe it? She has more speed. No, but Zara has slightly better line. Six hundredths of a second is a very, very close round. A 41.9 is Zara's time. And that's 5-8. And now they are on track point. They are about to tie it up. Yeah, only a victory or an ace to lead them to their first track point against the Equinox. Uh, or two draws. Uh, I mean, I'm saying the draw tactic is still there. Uh, it does give you a bit of space. The only problem is that Ya hits the pole quite severely. So it puts all the pressure on Zara. Linko has had to stand still respawn. So Ya has overtaken her. So the only way we prolong this is if Pepper overtakes Zara. Nobody's been able to do it so far, at least for the rounds that we've had. So Pepper needs to have an amazing end. But she's trying. But I don't think, yeah, she doesn't have the gear after the drift. And unless there's a mistake here, Zara is absolutely is. clinical. And with her teammate coming in third, that is 10-6 the score. And absolutely unstoppable uh, on the map at the moment. Uh, definitely, uh, you got to keep an eye on that one. Uh, uh, so do you maybe... Uh, if you go up against Meow, do you ban it perhaps? Or maybe you go for it, you know, try to challenge uh, Miss uh, Zara Stoker uh, for that position. But that does mean that this is the first match to go into the decider, which is a Celestia as well. Of course, a map made by Ellipse. We have seen this one a, a lot of times in the previous uh, steps as well. And uh, it's a very exciting map with a huge jump at the ending on the grass there, um, which makes for some uh, good highlights. But let's see what these ladies can
can make up for it. Whoever wins this map will win this round and stay in the upper bracket. The other will go to the lower bracket. So a lot is on the line here. We are in the warm-up still. Only eight more seconds to go. And let's see who has mastered this map the most. Equinox versus Meow. We are 1-1 one, one in maps. And we're going to fight it out on Celestia. And we are going it. We'll have to wait and see. I mean... We saw a glimpse of Meow here, and they did beat the uh, big bonkers here. And uh, Zara, I mean, she was looking rather formidable in that match as well. And Yao actually didn't look half uh, half uh, bad as well. She was really uh, keeping a pace with Zara on some speed. of the cases. But Zara, ooh, goes a bit too low there, uh, but still able to somehow recover. Pepper hits the wall, and Linko is now the only one to deny a possible ace for Meow and they are neck and neck everybody Yao goes for a oh, bit of a jump yeah so she's uh, out of it so it's up to the two ladies up in front who will be able to take more speed and Zara has a better line unless she has a bit of a fumble in the end which she doesn't that is I a nice park parking spot for everybody involved <laughs> a victory for Meow and they take another lead on the map and seems that uh, there is uh, a bit of a formula coming in here where Sarah I mean she's just absolutely insane at the moment uh, and really pushing equinox to their limits she really is zara is on a tear she's very consistent she's very fast takes a lot of first places and if she doesn't take first place she will take second place but for now uh we are two to one on the second map meow has a tiny bit of a lead but still it is so close that you really want that ace on the board um whichever team you're in because that will just be a huge gap for the other team to catch up on. Zara is uh, in the third place. And someone bonked there. Couldn't quite see who it was. It was Pepper, who is losing a lot of speed there. Linko has taken first place. But Zara has this inside line. And look at that. She's just sniping right past it. Linko will take second place with a point two. That line was a beautiful. Uh, Yao will take third place. So that is another victory for Meow. And they are now in a 2-4 lead which is not looking good for Equinox. They need to step on it because now is the time to take your points and to get that focus uh, in place because uh, this is the map. Now you, this is where you gotta do it. Ooh, oh, definitely. Yeah. So, but as soon as we go into the next round, Ya goes a bit too ambitious on the inside and she does touches, touches the loop or the, I guess the half pipe uh, on the inside. So it does have to do a bit of catch up. Uh, which is perfectly fine on this map you know one respawn and you're back in it again so definitely no reason to uh, stop driving for that sense of course but again Alinko and Zara up in front fighting for that first position it's basically all the time every Ooh. single round nothing Zara's separating pushing yeah but she always has the upper wow. hand but I think this time Linko has more speed so it's gonna go down the line wow. Linko has the inside one yes, and by 31 thousands of a second she does overtake giving wow. equinox the point she needs and keeping the distance ever so close four five and we still go on this could go this could possibly go for overtime if they keep swinging back and forth yeah this is gonna be amazing i love this already no matter what the outcome is this is these are the kind of matches that we're here for so close so much fighting going on and, and uh, it's amazing i love it um, so we are in the next round. Four to five is the score. Linko and Pepper have taken the lead, but Linko gets an awkward line, and actually so does Pepper. So Zara is right there to snipe that first place away from both of them. Ya has even taken over third place here. Linko now with a 2.7 second deficit. That's going to be hard to come, come back from. Pepper is hunting for Zara. Uh, we know that Zara has a really good last line here. Let's go. And it's not going to be... Pepper's not gonna be able to snap that. No, she's not. Pepper and Linko will take third place. Uh, that is a tie. So we keep the gap at one point uh, of a difference, but they are getting close to that match point because they are at six points now. They only need four more points to take this win, but an ace could turn it around completely. So um, everything's still up for grabs. Ooh, but Linko has a very dreadful start. That is not how you want to start your round, especially in a, such a volatile position. So it means that a, all eyes are on Pepper. She now has to drive fast. And ah. by hitting that wall, that is the last thing you want to happen. And what did you say about the aces? 
being a very yeah. crucial part of this match. Well, very crucial uh, part. Yeah, this could be possibly 5-9 for Meow. Hey, if anything, I can look to the fact that I predicted Meow to win, so I'll take those prediction Gamba <laughs> points. Uh, we don't have Gamba here, but with that in mind, Zara flawlessly going up to the finish, gets first, Ya gets second, and now Linko and Pepper uh, have to. They have no other choice. They ace have twice. to ace and then minimum victory to go into overtime or double ace yep. as you said wow five to nine it's match points for me out they just need someone to finish in first or second place that's all they need basically uh and now is the time for pepper and linko to uh not make any mistakes because they cannot uh let any points go to uh meow right now czar with a different line there on the jump i'm not sure it worked out she's not she loses a little bit of speed. Linko and Pepper are in a good position now to do exactly what they need to do. They need to ace this, and they are in position one and two. They need to keep the focus. They need to keep that position in check. Zara. Let's see. Zara is... She is pushing it. Does she have more speed? It doesn't look like it. She does come a little bit closer. Oh, what? no! What, Pepper? No! Pepper hits the triangle of the finish. And Zara just snipes it, and that's it. That's the point they needed. Meow goes through to the upper bracket, and Equinox will go to the lower bracket. What an ending. There were so many snipes in this matchup. It's insane. 7 to 10 oh. is on the last map. I mean, Celestia delivers again. This is insane. That ending is... <laughs> wow. Yeah, Equinox do not have a very good history on this map, and uh, it definitely seems to be continuing uh, even even with different players. It seems that this is just Equinox at the moment being absolutely cursed on this map. I believe Shorty had something similar on the previous occasion they played it, but uh, we maybe still have one of the matches still on the way, I believe. Uh, we'll have to wait. Well to wait and see or it's the match that uh, 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 is the buy win I believe I do believe it is so as well uh, yes it is so we will quickly make that uh, well it was the match that uh, well technically uh, did not so we'll quickly make sure that is uh, all done all should be complete yeah all the matches are now completed set and done I believe and we have some yeah. updates, at least from the bracket side as well, for every match involved. Let's take a look. Let's take a look here. Uh, what did Lilies, the wild things, Lilies did win. So that did go that way. Let's take a look at the bracket. Let's bring that up as well. That was a, a good stuff as well. So here what we have the... Ending. Yeah, wow. yeah. That was absolutely wow. wonderful. But looking at the bracket at the moment. So we saw so Equinox and Meow going... The very long distance uh, and almost going possibly into overtime, but that one moment in the end just gave me out the uh, edge they needed. We see Birds of Prey 2 0 against Fairy Tail, and Lily's winning against Wild Things. So we do have uh, at the moment Fairy Tail versus Lily's and Equinox versus Big Bunk Purse. There is a rematch in this case. Uh, uh, it is. Uh, it seems that there is a bit on the on that end of course it's very hard to see this at the moment but that could be uh, something we can look towards for the next event uh, it's very hard when the map uh, teams constantly change around and stuff but at the moment at least you know big bunkers are facing somebody new equinox but fairy tale and lilies will have a rematch on their hands so that will be interesting to see how that will go that's the match we technically didn't see the first time around big so we have a possibility to see that again <laughs> Uh, in uh, in the lower bracket. Equinox Big Bonkers. I'm going to take a quick look at the October uh, bracket to see if they have faced each other before because I don't think they have. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I think this is the first time that we're going to see that particular matchup. So mm -hmm. that could be an interesting one. And also, um, I think Equinox, this is the first time that Equinox is actually in the lower bracket. Uh, because last time they took a whole upper bracket run and uh, ended up winning the whole thing. So that's kind of an upset and a little bit of a surprise. But uh, mm -hmm. GG to Meow for beating them because that was uh, a hard-fought victory and a very cool match to watch. 
So GG to uh, the ladies of Meow for mm -hmm. winning that one. And of course, um, we will see them. Uh, I think Meow is done. Yeah, Meow is yep. done for the day. Uh, we will see them again uh, tomorrow. Yes. Um, versus someone we don't know yet, but that will be decided in the match that we will have at uh, in when is it? Twenty minutes. Yes. Then we have the next rounds. Um, Big Bonkers versus Equinox, and yeah, this is um, Equinox and Big Bonkers play in the first stage. Ah, okay, okay. So they have played each other. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me go back in the thing. Equinox, Big Bonkers. All right, and that was won by Equinox. So uh, okay. I guess the Big Bonkers have a score to settle there, which is exactly what they had last time versus Meow, and they ended up winning that. So uh, who knows what they put out of what 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 they pull out of the bag this time. I mean, it's very hard to tell. I mean, given oh, the matches we have at the moment, I mean, it's only fair that we get to see the match that we didn't see the first time around. I feel like uh, the fairy tale Lilish match could be, but I mean, we have a potential for some excellent match. I mean, Liz and Lena Kitty, uh, both uh, for the Lilies. I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, it sounds like a good matchup already in the books. I mean, uh, I hope uh, it will produce. Uh, I mean. A closer affair than 2-0. We don't know what the map score was at the time, but I su do see some hints from the chat that it looks looked a lot closer than the score predicted. So maybe we'll see a map 3 in that case. You never know. Right. But, I mean, there's still one set of matches to go, and uh, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, uh, there's two teams that already can take a rest for tomorrow. That is Meow and Birds of Prey. And there's still two teams... Uh, who want to continue for day number two? Who will they and be? Two well, we have to say goodbye to, unfortunately. Yeah, there's always goodbyes, but you know, every ending, every end to a chapter is a start to new beginnings. Uh, meow, <laughs> well meow, said. yeah, meow will have a bit of a tough time against the birds of prey, so it will be cats against the birds. We'll see how that one will go. Usually, I mean, I, I mean, it depends what kind of cats and birds. Are we talking like, uh, you know, your house cat versus an eagle? Or do we see more like a feral cat, you know, like a lynx or, you know, more like tigerish versus, you know, more like a pigeon, you know, pigeon, so, yeah. yeah, something <laughs> like that. You know, we don't know what we're going to get there. So hopefully a good one. Uh, but or maybe uh, it's going to be closer than uh, than that altogether. Or maybe it's the tiger versus the eagle. Uh, though I will exactly. say like uh, flying is a big advantage. Uh, last time I checked, cats cannot fly. They can land on their feet. Rather well, and the girls uh, are flying today. Like there's some mm -hmm. good matchups uh, happening already. Like we've seen some really good matches. Um, yes, go ahead. Yeah, I mean there's plenty of puns there. It's just like we can chuck them all <laughs> at the wall. It's Anything the that with cats, birds, you name it, we have them all. Um, yes, but yes. any any few words before we go on to the final break for today? Uh, before we go into the matches? Mm, can you show the bracket one more time? Of course, uh, we have a fancy a bracket here. And yeah, so this is how it looks. Bef the day has looked for today. All we right. have Let's one set of matches. Let's take a look here. Yep. So we've got the Fairy Tales versus the Lilies and Equinox versus Big Bonkers. Okay, so prediction wise, Fairy Tales versus Lilies, I honestly don't know. I don't think I've seen enough of the Fairy Tales to know what's going on. I mean, they won their first um, two matches, but they lost against Birds of Prey. Um, I honestly don't know what that's going to be like. Um, but Equinox, Big Bonkers, I would put my money on Equinox. But again, Big Bonkers, they tend to surprise us. So um, let's just see how they uh, how they come out of that. Um, yeah, two more matches. We're going to decide during the break which match mm -hmm. we are going to witness. Um, so we'll come back uh, to you with that. But for now, um, yeah, it's time for a little break. Very short one this time. The matches will start uh, in 15 minutes, so it won't be as long a break this time. Um, and then we'll uh, get back to you. I will see that as well. I already see Marina throwing hands against Lina Kitty a bit uh, in chat. So hopefully that will be a good <laughs> uh, matchup to come. But either way, we will go on to the break uh, approximately 10 minutes or so. And once we come back, final set of matches to decide who will be going to war tomorrow at least and who will be enjoying a bit of the bench that we've been warming up for them. Uh, either way, exactly. have a good uh, time. We'll be right back and uh, see you there. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 